In today's video, I'm uh, going to show you how to implement the sigmoid function in assembly language. Uh, the sigmoid function, uh, you can see it here in uh, Wikipedia, uh, it has this uh, formula, but uh, it also has this equivalent formula. So it can be written as either 1 over 1 plus e to the, pi, uh, to the power of minus x or uh, e to the power of x over 1 plus e to the power of x. Uh, for my implementation I will use uh, the second uh, formula uh, since it allows us to compute e to the power of x once and then reuse uh, this value. Uh, also, in uh, the previous video, I already described how to implement e to the power of x. I will reuse uh, this uh, code sequence, but I will explain it uh, shortly. Uh, one more thing, uh, the sigmoid function is uh, used as an alias for the logistic function in uh, some contexts, including in artificial neural networks. Uh, also here uh, is a plot of uh, the logistic curve, uh, the sigmoid function, so uh, we try to obtain values according to this uh, plot. So now let's take a look at the code. So uh, I have this function here, I call it f32 sigmoid, uh, which computes uh, sigmoid of x. Uh, the x is expected to be in uh, memory, the address uh, of the memory location will be in uh, the register RDI and uh, the output will be stored in the address uh, found in uh, RSI. And uh, as mentioned I'm going to use uh, this second formula uh, for computing sigmoid as uh, e to the power of x over 1 plus e to the power of x. And uh, as I already mentioned, this is based on the code from my previous videos, so uh, maybe you can take a look at that as well. Uh, I explain it a bit uh, better perhaps there, this part of e to the power of x. But uh, anyway, I'm going to explain it quickly here again. Uh, so this is the part that's taken from the previous example and uh, I only had to add four additional instructions uh, in order to implement the sigmoid function. But let's start with uh, e to the power of x. Uh, again very quickly you can watch the previous video for a longer presentation. So what's happening here? I'm uh, uh, loading uh, the logarithm uh, in base 2 of E onto the stack. Uh, the stack uh, now looks like this. So we had first x, this is pushed in ST1, in ST0 we have uh, logarithm of E. Then uh, we multiply these two values and uh, the stack is popped. We have now x times logarithm of E. Uh, then we push 1 onto the stack. Uh, then uh, ST1 is pushed again onto the stack, so now we have uh, this structure of the stack. Uh, then we compute first the fractional part uh, that you see here uh, in ST0. Uh, now we raise this uh, 2 to the power of the fractional part minus 1. Uh, why minus 1? Because this is how this instruction computes it. Then we add uh, 1, so now we have 2 to the power of fractional of uh, x times logarithm of e. Uh, and now we use uh, f scale which uh, will uh, multiply this by uh, 2 to the power of integral part of uh, the second term here in ST1. And this actually uh, gives us uh, 2 to the power of x times logarithm of e, which is e to the power of x. And 
now in nested zero we have uh, the value that uh, we need however the stack still contains uh, this term in st1 so uh, first we exchange st0 with st1 then uh, the value in st0 is popped from the stack and uh, the new stack will contain only uh, e to the power of x in st0 and now uh, we move on um, i'm pushing so this is the new code here that's uh, implemented for us specifically for the computing the sigmoid so we start with e to the power of x in st0 i'm pushing one onto the stack so the stack looks like this uh, now i'm pushing again uh, st1 so now in the stack we have e to the power of x then one then e to the power of x uh, i'm using uh, f add uh, with pop uh, which will ensure uh, the stack will look like this so uh, it adds uh, e to the power of x with one uh, also pops the first element so we have now in st0 1 plus e to the power of x in st1 e to the power of x uh, which again if we look here at the formula is uh, these are uh, the terms that we need so now i can do uh, a division using fdiv uh, with pop uh, and i'm uh, dividing st1 so e to the power of x to uh, st0 1 plus uh, e to the power of x the result is stored in st1 and then uh, st0 is popped so we end up with the top of the stack containing uh, our uh, sigmoid uh, result so e to the power of x over 1 plus e to the power of x so now we can um, store this in uh, memory at the location pointed by rsi and we return uh, from the function so uh, what i have here uh, you already know probably from previous videos uh, the operating system interface uh, containing console write uh, string conversion routines including uh, float to string uh, which i'm using to display results and i have this test sigmoid which is uh, rather similar to uh, my previous video uh, for uh, other floating point operations so what's happening here uh, i have a variable data float which contains multiple float numbers uh, in previous examples i uh, used to end this with a zero but this time i wanted to also see uh, a sigmoid of zero so i'm also defining a size uh, for this uh, variable here uh, this is uh, in uh, bytes while we have here uh, four bytes for each uh, number so uh, in order to solve this uh, i'm loading in rcx this size in bytes then i'm shifting right two so this is equivalent to a division by four so now in rcx i have the number uh, of elements in uh, that variable so i have a loop here i'm uh, reading into eax the value uh, this is only used for displaying it uh, then i'm calling uh, test sigmoid i'm displaying a new line uh, again uh, moving to the next one in rdi and i'm looping uh, until uh, rcx uh, comes down to zero and finally exiting to the operating system so what's happening in display number uh, i'm calling uh, the conversion function uh, flow 32 to string uh, which uh, will convert uh, the number in eax uh, to a string i'm also displaying a new line and this test sigmoid uh, starts by displaying a message 
in this message simply states C point equals. Uh, then um, it's calling uh, the uh, function for computing the sigmoid that just saw. Uh, and um, it's converting the result uh, again to a string, displaying it, uh, displays a new line. And that's it. It's pretty simple. I also have a build file here. Uh, if you watched my previous videos, uh, you are already familiar with this one. So let's build. Okay. We got this executable. Uh, so what it uh, shows, the number uh, minus one, the sigmoid is 0 0.26A941. Uh, for minus five, we have this value for minus two, this value for zero uh, this value and this corresponds to the expected values here uh, for 0 0.2 0 0.5 and for one and of course you can extend uh, that list with uh, more numbers so I hope you found this useful, so don't forget to like and subscribe and leave me comments. I'm always happy to read uh, new comments. And see you next time. Bye.